once upon a time six months back hopefully <laughs> there was one lady from new delhi india the capital of the holy land <laughs> she sent me a mail that why do you talk so much about sex and addiction to sexuality you're very young you're a kid now you have not married you have not experienced sex pleasure <laughs> it it's not that everybody is addicted it's not that people are running behind the opposite sex 24 hours but you are young you know you are new actually so you don't know get married then you will know <laughs> so then i asked this lady one question i asked her that madam from tomorrow i will not speak a word against it or about it rather than saying against <laughs> if at all you go and ask your husband that he does not watch pornography or anything which has to do with adult material if your husband says no then i promise you from tomorrow i will not speak a word against it <laughs> and that lady never replied to me <laughs> i'm still waiting that she replies to me at least she replies you know you are right he also watches <laughs> but she has not yet replied i don't know maybe she doesn't have my mail id or something like that i don't know maybe whatever the reason is but the point is people they message me always they mail me that we are getting addicted to pornography to sec- to losing our vitality to losing semen so what should we do regarding that all right so today is the day we will discuss okay and there you go if you're new then please like comment share and subscribe and if you want a consultation from me then you can go to my website below you will find it there in the description section so before we discuss anything about preserving semen which is known as virya which is also known as shukra yes it's the significant venus is the significator of semen that which gives us life everybody life <laughs> not you and me everybody so there are different layers of the body you know, as per ayurveda and the last bit is dhatu that's what semen is so it is the quintessence of your blood quintessence means it's like the it's like <laughs> it's like the best part it's like the best thing which your blood can make that's what semen is and according to ayurveda they say that one drop of semen is containing around 50 drops of blood some say 40 some say 60 so that means it becomes highly essential for us to preserve semen and not wasted by indulging in <laughs> oh, nefarious activities but the question is why should we preserve it what what happens if we lose it okay oh and yes i forgot to say the disclaimer <laughs> this is going to be a very heavy video <laughs> so i will be at my full pace when i speak about this here all right so if you do not like some things which i say in my videos or if you are addicted to this and you are only living you get up in the morning just to stare at the private parts of the opposite sex and just enjoy life and in the night you come and watch pornography and you lose your semen then this video is not for you you will not like the things which i say okay but if you are addicted to this habit and if you are intending to give up this then it is going to be something good for you hopefully so now what happens is our body there's different levels of consciousness within the body okay so one is the animalistic consciousness animalistic consciousness means animals they will do four things eating sleeping mating and defending so if you see a dog in the street he what he will do he will be eating something you will see he will be going to the dustbin or he will be eating something he will be searching how can i eat something 
somebody has thrown something i can eat yes if you see a elephant he's doing the same thing he's just putting his trunk somewhere and he's putting it inside yes <laughs> then sleeping sleeping means <laughs> sleeping polar bears can sleep my god how long one month two month 10 years maybe <laughs> then mating mating means having sex uh, with the opposite party or maybe nowadays uh, within the same party also and defending defending means like you will see um, sometimes uh, in in a group when a group of dogs they are barking somewhere and there's another dog which comes then they start bark- barking because they feel threatened that he has come to our territory he will rule our territory that's what is defending now human beings also do these four activities eating sleeping mating and defending most of the people but the human beings have a higher potential to raise their consciousness above these four activities and focus on spirituality that is what they can do they have this con- they can have this conception the human body is empowered specially by lord vishnu that you can think of anything beyond matter think of god think of soul think of spirit these things you can think but when human beings become too much engrossed in these four activities eating sleeping mating and defending too much engrossed means that becomes the goal of their life like if you go to any city or town primarily in cities most of the people you will see that how they spend their time yes they will eat something in the morning then afternoon they will eat then evening again the night yes restaurants are getting flooded over these days in india and in rest of the world also yes there's a restaurant a barbecue nation in india or maybe it's there in other places also they serve you know buffet 80 items 50 items sometimes sometimes maybe 100 also <laughs> and the cost of the buffet there one meal is around 1000 rupees i don't know how much it is now it might depend on the city where you stay maybe less or more so it's like saying to you that become more of an animal when you do such things okay now this doesn't mean that you cannot have a buffet in barbecue nation but what it means is that when we make these four activities as the prime goal of our life then we become more and more animalistic and then what happens is we cannot control our sexual desires now this can manifest in many ways this can manifest internally or and externally internally how it can manifest is you are very passive so what happens is you cannot uh, control the urge to you know throw your semen out because maybe you have seen somebody yes some member of the opposite sex or you saw some movie or you saw some adult material something somewhere and then you go and masturbate and you waste your semen you waste your vital fluid out or if you are more animalistic then what you do is you go and touch somebody man you will go and touch a lady and if he is more animalistic you will grab her hand you will touch her private parts and if he is even more animalistic you will start abusing her and the worst case rape and even worse than that they may kill her also so the thing is either either way you are wasting your semen either you are just sitting in home and watching something or you are aggressively pursuing it externally either ways you are losing it okay so there are some symptoms of somebody who loses a lot of semen actually and this can happen within a uh, marriage also that every night thrice a week twice a week yes <laughs> i don't know the frequency but these are just numbers which i am quoting <laughs> yes we will do it this way that way like this we will do it here we will do it there oh my god it's everywhere <laughs> so there are many symptoms of somebody who loses loses semen okay what are some of the symptoms first is headlessness that's the first symptom headlessness means that person you will see especially this is more profound in men all right i will come to women later but this i have seen more working with men <laughs> so what happens is they are completely headless 
headless means they are just going to the office doing something in the office maybe you know working hard like a donkey and after they work hard for 8 hours they will come home and they're like oh, i want to watch the tv man <laughs> darling khane mein kya hai what have you made for food today zero inquisitiveness for spirituality zero inquisitiveness your when you lose semen too much then your spiritual poten- potential is sapped it's like gone it goes to ruins because then you are becoming more of an animal and then what happens is your your ability to be a human is that that gets extinguished completely it's like a fire okay and then what happens at the end you're just sitting you know night time has come you'll just watch some tv you know watching taking chips you know grazing watching tv serials kaho na pyar hai kahani ghar ghar ki ha sabhi ghar ki ek hi kahani sab frustrated that's the only story or uh, nowadays they will watch things you know like game of thrones which is like i've heard i have not seen but i've heard it's like pornography only there's not much difference is the same but it's like a formalized version of pornography all in india they will watch all this you know big boss yes where they are insulting each other and then the uh, lady is going and insulting her husband then the husband also insults his wife yes these things go on and then they go to astrologers and they will ask when is my married life going to improve okay so uh, such things go on in most of the places so because of that what happens is the first thing happens that is our spiritual potential goes down yes apart from that you become very weak physically and when you become phys- weak physically what happens is you have difficulty being consistent in something consistent means to do that same activity every day so for example uh, you are chanting mantras which we are ideally supposed to chant every day but then many people who cannot control their <laughs> inlet or outlet of semen <laughs> they message me after 3 months 6 months yes they book big big readings from me sometimes yes family consultation you know four full readings they will book sometimes they book eight full readings and after spending so much money with for people like me and so many other senior astrologers they go to i know they will give them remedies do these mantras and then after 3 months they message me again so actually you know this has happened that has happened and i am like are you doing the mantras and they are like mantras you know actually <sighs> i've tried sir sometimes i do but sometimes i miss the determination goes away your determination to do anything in life that goes away so then you become simply like a couch potato you are just sitting in home doing nothing yes you are you are going to your job you are earning money you are not that uh, your situation may not be that bad that you give up working only but your determination to do anything in life not only spiritual practices if you de- if you are determined that you will uh, do yoga every day that also you are not able to do you are determined that i will go to the gym and uh, improve my health or body that also you are not able to do your performance in work that goes down your overall well being your overall happiness goes down when you keep indulging in that okay so the thing is we have to ensure that we do not waste our semen unnecessarily all right and this holds true for anybody either we are you are single or you are in a relationship or you are married ideally that is only supposed to be done uh, to procreate children but even then uh, we can at least try to control it that may be a very high level of standard which is mentioned in the manu samhita of course so how to do that the first thing is if you see in youtube there are many videos where they will say you know oh restrain yourself yes control yourself control control paaji <laughs> but unfortunately restraint doesn't work how much can you control yourself because see what is happening is the pleasure of sex which is there in the genitals well, why everybody wants to waste semen because when 
that is released you have an orgasm and that gives you, you know tens and thousands of times of pleasure but that same energy when you preserve it and you gradually transport it upwards you know through your chakras that is known as urdhvaretas urdhvaretas means it's going upwards so when you do that then the same pleasure can be experienced in a spiritual way spiritual way doesn't mean that that is like you are again losing it but that same power can be harnessed for improving your consciousness and finally you get connected to god one day okay so therefore it is highly essential that we engage ourselves in uh, proper activities engage ourselves in proper activities means that one of the first things that we need to do is we need to install k9 software okay and again i am not advertising or i am not uh, broadcasting anybody software here okay this is there in my laptop i had installed it long 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 back <laughs> i mean ages back <laughs> So K9 Web Protection, you can just type in Google K9 Web Protection, K for Karnataka uh, and 9, okay, not N-I-N-E, just 9, K9, you type K9 Web Protection. So when you type that, you can download it, it's available for Mac and Windows also, okay. So you can download it, so that will ensure that everything is blocked in your uh, laptop and do not give the password yourself, tell your father or mother that my dear papa mama please come and give the password you don't have to tell them this is that this is this you know otherwise they you you may be embarrassed if you say that i'm installing a anti-porn software in my laptop so you don't have to tell them you have to tell them just this is for my studies or something like that you can say okay or you can say this is my anti-facebook software whatever you want you say to them okay then it will block all the entrance of nudity and all ads and everything into your laptop okay or pc but that's not enough as i said restraint is okay at one level but the most important thing is you have to do is you have to become a happy individual inside by doing things which give you happiness all right i didn't say pleasure i said happiness which means that you have to find out activities this is the second thing you have, to, you have to do. Suppose you like to paint. Then you have to paint. Paint every day. Become a he healthy individual. You like to write something. Then write. Yes. You like to make YouTube videos. Make it. You like to read something. Then read it. Alright. Read things which will make you a better individual. Rather than reading uh, books like Fifty Shades of Grey and so many other useless rubbish books of this world which simply degrades your consciousness nothing else you will receive okay and apart from that you have to do mantras on a daily basis okay so when you chant mantras in the morning and maybe in the evening also and then when you read uh, the bhagavad gita when you read Srimad bhagavatam or you read the bible or you read the quran then you will understand what spirit is and once you understand then you will automatically not want to lose it now why you are losing it is because you think what is this this is that semen nothing else but wasting semen is worse than death actually because you are killing so many souls there are severe repercussions which comes as a part of karma when you lose semen because you are depriving a living being of his existence to live in this world all right so there are severe karmic implications when you lose semen all right but anyways, keeping that karm karmic implication aside, it makes you very dull. It makes you very, very boring, unfulfilled. It makes you very, it gives you a lot of irritation. All the good qualities vanish. Your tolerance goes down. You get more angry. In Hindi, they say, na, chir chira ho jata hai. Then you lose focus in life. You lose track in life. One of the symptoms of somebody who doesn't lose semen is the person is very focused. He's very clear. Yes, as Lord Krishna says in the Gita, Dridavrata, that verse is used. Yes, and when Arjuna was asked that what do you see, Arjuna said, I see Parchi ki Aak. <laughs> the bird's eye I am seeing. I am not seeing the bird's feathers or the bird's stomach. Yes, I am only seeing the eye. So he's like Dridavrata, he can see that directly. So 
when you do spiritual practices and in the weekends you have to associate with spiritual people who will remind you of your spiritual wisdom which is there inside you but it's dormant all right and then you should also have good company of people who are also willing to practice the same if you are doing all these things alone and then you go to your company and then there your uh, colleagues they are watching pornography there <laughs> it's not going to work like that okay because when you stay with people whose behavior uh, is like animals all right degraded beings then i mean uh, their behavior i'm not talking of animals here <laughs> when they behave like degraded human beings at the level of these four activities then you will also sing down with them because you remember always you know you we can know who a person is by seeing the friends yes five closest friends they say so you have to become a healthy and fulfilled individual inside and you have to do activities which give you happiness yes and you can also do yoga because sometimes what happens when you want to sleep most of the times people say that when i am going to sleep then these desires attack me okay so then what to do is we should plan our schedule our life in such a way that we do not have any free time so when we do not have any free time what happens is we are totally exhausted during the night and when night comes we are like oh my god i want to sleep <laughs> but suppose you're just wasting time during the day then you'll just hover around in the night oh it's 10 11 12 how many of you have that experience you go to sleep but you don't get sleep okay and before sleeping do not disturb your mind by seeing such useless things in the internet all right stay away from the mobile one hour before you sleep switch off the mobile laptop everything no technology okay and there are so many things we will discuss more on this in the future now it's already 23 minutes <laughs> okay so the biggest remedy is that we become a fulfilled and happy individual inside because then we, we will not want to indulge in this um, in this animalistic pleasure too much otherwise our entire life will be ruined and then this will manifest in other ways also you are running behind the opposite sex have you seen men and women running behind the opposite sex oh my god the way they run <laughs> if that way they would have run after god they would have obtained god maybe yes like shabri like hanuman like whoever uddhav <laughs> like sudama used to run when he used to hear oh krishna is here well, how yashoda mai used to run when krishna would come after playing throughout the day all right like who else oh my god like hanuman ji would be enthusiastic yes lord ram has told me that go and get this sanjeevani from you know the himalayas so i will get it <laughs> so be physically active do yoga do exercise do spiritual practices in the morning and in the evening do things which you like and have a happy emotional life have friends with whom you can connect yes if you are married it's great if you are not married then at least you you might have parents or friends or neighbors connect with them you know discuss spiritual topics create awareness about this and only then you will realize that you are somehow able to control this okay and now some people will ask that i have uh, controlled it i have not lost semen for many many days weeks and months but sometimes in the night i get dreams of i am enjoying with somebody okay so then what to do then in my in night only i am losing semen when you get up in the morning you realize so the answer is no problem because it's like a car which is going in 300 km per hour speed suddenly you put the brake <laughs> then what happens it although the you have stopped the car keeps going you know the momentum is there so that's the situation we have indulged so much in this that now when even we are sleeping that thing is going on inside all right and uh th- that's the problem then e- very easily the opposite sex can manipulate you especially i have so many of my friends you know who who can be they are always controlled by women like controlled means they are they will only uh, do what their girlfriend says or what their wife does totally henpecked <laughs> 
so when uh, when a man is handpicked then the man and the woman both of them sung they sing down together no dono milke doobte hain unless the wife is very spiritually elevated okay then the case is different but most of the cases uh, i have seen with my friends like there was one of my friend who uh, who wanted to do mba but then his girlfriend said if you do mba if you leave me i will throw you out of my life i will leave you and then he's like oh darling please don't throw me out you know what i will do if you are not there <laughs> so uh, the opposite sex can uh, make you dance like you know in circles in s- not circle circus <laughs> okay and if you are a lady then same thing men can also do they can make you dance yes they can exploit you sexually they can they can you know do different ways to uh, submit yourself to them because they know that you are also desperate you also might want to enjoy so then men can exploit you also in a good way i mean good way i mean uh, ex- any exploitation is horrible but i'm saying good way in the sense that not like rape or abuse but they can emotionally manipulate you yes official exploitation that's but you will not come to know you will think that oh no 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 he loves me you know but he's simply using you all right so that's how to preserve semen that's how to preserve this vital fluid because this is very important this is very 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 important for our spiritual progress all right so if somebody is thinking that i am going on recklessly losing semen and then i will do spiritual practices you are simply in an illusion should i repeat you are simply in illusion because when you are losing semen too much you are simply becoming more and more animalistic all right so animals cannot practice spirituality or oh, it's only for humans of course we have examples in shrimad bhagavatam like jad bharat is there gajendra is there yes but it doesn't happen in reality okay that only humans can enjoy spirituality <laughs> so let us rise above the consciousness of animals yes let us be willing to accept the fact that this habit is destroying our lives all right and everything is gone actually everything is lost if this habit is not controlled okay so there you go thank you very much for your patient hearing <laughs> and if you know somebody who is uh, interested to control this flow this wastage then please send them this video okay and if you like this video click the thumbs up and share it with somebody who is willing to help themselves <laughs> okay and if you want a consultation then please go down to my website below okay until next time wish you good luck bye bye see you tata <laughs>